Okay, uh, welcome to this presentation by uh, Jakob, the CEO of, of StrongPoint. Uh, for those uh, who don't know the company, uh, StrongPoint is a retail technology company that sells a wide uh, variety of technology solutions that saves costs, increase producti productivity, but also facilitates e-commerce sales for retailers and then primarily within the grocery sector. Uh, Jakob, you have a wide range of different products, uh, you know, electronic shelf labels, cash management systems, self checkout terminals, uh, and click and collect lockers. And you probably talk more about that. And you also are uh, an auto store partner. Uh, so, so by that brief introduction, I give the word uh, to you, Jakob. Thank you so much, Petit. Uh, and it was a very nice and short. Um, short uh, review of, of uh, StrongPoint. I will, for those of you that are not that familiar with StrongPoint, go a little bit more uh, through what StrongPoint is uh, all about, the customers we serve and the solutions we provide and the geographic footprint that we that we cover. And at least why I think that StrongPoint is a fantastic uh, both company and an investment opportunity. If you start with the next uh, slide, then we're not a new kid on the block. StrongPoint has been around for 37 year, uh, years, and, uh, and we have our StrongPoint uh, out of uh, the Nordics and, uh, and, and Baltics. We have recently expanded also into, uh, into the UK and uh, an Irish market with an acquisition last year. And, and early this year, we concluded on a Finnish acquisition of a Pricer distributor called Hamari Group. So. Currently, we are in nine countries covering not only sales, but also service installation and support in these countries, which is so important to ensure a good customer experience and get the full value from uh, the uh, actual sales of solutions. We have about 500 uh, employees uh, across these uh, nine countries. And as you can tell from the logos on this page, we focus on grocery retail. So not the retail as such, but grocery retail and about 80% of our revenue stems from this resilient customer base. Last year we had a turnover of 1.4 billion Norwegian kroner and we've been listed on the stock exchange in Oslo since 2003. If you go on the next page, <clears throat> this is really what you alluded to, uh, Petter. I mean, our purpose is to bring retail technology into every shopping experience for a smarter and better life. And what does this mean? Well, it means firstly for our customers, the grocery retailers, that we are able to drive efficiency savings. And efficiency savings never really go out of, of start. And that in essence then leads to, or should lead to boosting margins for the grocery retailers or the ability to take out efficiency savings and providing additional value add activities or services for customers in the store. And of course, um, as a consequence of that, we're having an impact on the end consumer. We want the improvement for end consumers, whether it's in store or on online, to be excellent. And that experience could mean either that the uh, efficiency savings have been driving down prices, that's also an experience, or uh, enhancing the actual experience uh, for uh, with other, other services. So that's strong point in a nutshell. Then if you go to the next slide, I, I want to dig a bit deeper into what do we actually do? Because just talking about technology retail solutions could be so many things. And what we try to do here is sort of to take the roof off the grocery store and uh, some of uh, some of the warehouses. But I'd like to start in the store. And if you're a, uh, in particular, if you're a Norwegian or Swedish uh, citizen, you are in touch with our solutions every time you go into a grocery store. You would have uh, likely seen our uh, uh, our cash guard solution that is in in, in many many stores. You would have seen our Vent safe solution, which is uh, in, in rise in terms of uh, attractiveness, given the fact that you're able to protect uh, high value items. 
traditionally that's been tobacco, but in today's world, with a increase increase in, in theft, we're seeing a added uh, benefit from using Vensafe also for non-tobacco, but uh, still high value items. We have our own uh, hardware and software for self-checkout. Um, the the self-checkout uh, strong point offer uh, has a is a leading uh, self-checkout solution in the Baltic uh, countries. We're serving all of the grocery retailers with either our hardware or software or both. And we have a very unique set of technologies to prevent the traditional theft that you've seen arise with self-checkouts. And as such, we remain very, very positive about taking that solution into the other strong point countries as well. Electronic shelf labels is another um, is another of the solutions that we offer. That's uh, a third party solution for Strongpoint uh, Pricer. Uh, I believe Magnus Larsson will be presenting their solutions after my presentation here. But we're a long-standing partner of Pricer, and we distribute Pricer in all the nine countries that we are uh, representing. Um, and we are today the largest or second largest Pricer partner in the world, depending on which quarter you look at. In stores, we're seeing more and more uh, kind of autonomous uh, uh, robots getting their way into the store. We have a uh, partnership with CM Robotics on, uh, on uh, AMRs, which is then able to bring trolleys back and forth to, to staff, enabling them to do value added work rather than the uh, pushing, of, uh, pushing of shelves around the store. And lastly, which I just want to mention here in store is uh, is the human old robotic uh, looking robot, uh, which is actually from One X. Um, One X is a Norwegian based uh, robotized company that uh, Strongpoint has actually invested in. But not least, we have a partnership agreement to bring those very exciting uh, robots into stores for call it repetitive tasks, uh, for instance, replenishment in in shelf. Highly successful uh, uh, startup, which is a scale up that have been attracting both SoftBank and, lastly, OpenAI as investors. That's briefly on what uh, Strongpoint uh, can offer in the store. Um, we also have a very broad portfolio of e-commerce solutions. And if you're um, if you're a Swedish investor, um, you would have noticed that our solutions are uh, are in all. Uh, Swedish grocers. We have been providing uh, our in-store order picking solution for many, many years, and we've added on to that uh, in-store order picking solution the ability to do both dark store picking and also automated dark store uh, picking with uh, with auto store. We are the uh, world's first auto store partner focusing on grocery. Uh, grocery on the grocery retail segment, and right now we are finalizing the world's first auto store facility with three temperature zones, both chilled, frozen, and uh, and ambient. And lastly, on uh, home delivery uh, or delivery solutions, we have a range of uh, both home delivery uh, opportunities, but not least the click and collect uh, lockers that you would have seen inside stores, outside stores, or even mobile, um, and drive through solution that is, again, very, very uh, highly penetrated in, in the Swedish market, and that we're dying to get out to other markets as well. A bit of a crowded uh, slide in, uh, in just five minutes, but I think the main, main message you get across is that Strongpoint offers a set of retail technology solutions, which enables us to have uh, very meaningful conversations with with customers, uh, not there purely to sort of push one solution, but there to have a meaningful discussion about how do we achieve uh, how do we achieve uh, productivity improvements or uh, shop better shopping experiences in store and in e-commerce. Then move to the next slide. <clears throat> Just wanted to um, pinpoint on wh why are we deliberately targeting grocery retailers. Uh, firstly, uh, grocery 
market is what we would uh, absolutely define as a resilient market. Uh, people need to have uh, food and drinks, and, and if anything, right, in uh, in a uh, environment or economy where the household spend is under pressure, uh, it's not unthinkable that uh, restaurants and that kind of uh, eating out experiences have to uh, have to uh, lose in favor of eating at home, meaning more spend in uh, in stores. Clearly, we've seen uh, grocery retailers grow. Uh, that's been a primarily a uh, inflationary driven uh, regime, but it's still a very, very resilient market where, uh, where uh, the fluctuations uh, month by month, uh, quarter by quarter are uh, completely different than what you would see in, in many other retail categories. So that's why we focus on the grocery retail market. Secondly, if you compare the grocery retail market with the uh, other retail market being uh, uh, sports apparel, etc. Uh, the, 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 the technology spend in grocery retail is by far the highest. About uh, three quarters of the total tech spend is spent in uh, grocery retailers. So even though there's a low margin, typically, uh, when you look at uh, a margin as a percentage with grocery retailers, the share, uh, uh, the share volume going through retailers leads to a very large portion of, uh, of investment opportunities in technology. And lastly, technology tends to go um, forward with customers. Um, just a couple of examples here. Um, you know, if you attempted or adopted electronic shelf labels, uh, you're not going to go back to paper tax. Um, I, I can say this as, uh, as a uh, uh, pricer partner that have brought electronic shelf labels to, amongst other the Norwegian and Swedish markets, the Baltic market as such as well. Um, we've never experienced anybody going back to paper, paper tax. You'd experience the same with with Otis or once you've automated a uh, picking solution, you're not likely to go back and and start manual solutions, but you need the volumes to get there. And and although for self checkout there's talks in the press about how uh, about how theft is uh, forcing or pushing uh, franchisees to to turn off uh, self checkouts for periods of time, the evolution of self checkout and more uh, more uh, self service is just going to to increase. So we're focusing on grocery retailers. Eighty percent of market uh, revenue from 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 those uh, esteemed customers, and of course there's naturally spillover effects to others do it yourself pharmacies itself that we are then very well positioned to be served. But then go to the next page. Um, it's um, just wanted to talk a bit about our geographic uh, footprint because as I said we are a uh, historically we've been a Nordic and uh, and Baltic uh, uh, company. Um, most of the revenue have been spent have been uh, have been uh, residing in the in Norway, Sweden, and the and the Baltic uh, and the Baltic countries, and we're doing well there. And we have built a uh, position which enables us to have very meaningful discussions with the grocery retail customers in these markets. Where, by the way, we have a hundred percent penetration in terms of logos. The really interesting bit about uh, about Strongpoint, I find, is how we are now positioning ourselves to move our solutions into the major economies of UK and Ireland, but UK pre predominantly, and and at least Spain. We entered the uh, the UK market with an acquisition of Airlink Group, and in Spain we have been in the market for uh, for some time. Uh, through the acquisition of one of the cash card distributors we had then. In both these markets, we're now looking to expand or call it export the solutions we offer. So if you go to the next page, I want to bring to life a little bit of what are the product market fit that we're potentially looking at in these markets. Number one, if you start with the UK market, UK is the highest penetrated market when it comes to e-groceries. Uh, so not e-commerce in general, as it says here, but you know, e-groceries. 
both uh, go, uh, go you know well in excess of of 10 percent uh, penetration um and with a e grocery market that is bigger than the entire norwegian grocery market in itself but still struggling with profitability that profitability we believe we're able to help these major grocery retailers small and large with both providing the uh, award-winning order picking solution that we have for in-store picking and 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 also for uh, for automated picking but also on the last mile the uk market is uh, a predominantly home delivery market looking at the swedish market where the incumbent players have been able to reach break even and even profitability that it to a large extent has been explained by the large portion of pickup in store or pickup in in grocery lockers actually 50 percent of uh, e-grocery orders in sweden are being picked up in store so we believe that's a key element to achieving profitability compared to um, the advancement of the uk uh, grocery market there is virtually no electronic shelf lifts uh, uk is highly highly uh advanced on many many aspects but esls or electronic shelf labels uh, has a very low penetration and as the largest or again second largest uh, pricer partner uh in in the world we believe that a strong point we really have a unique offering both in terms of experience in rolling out large-scale electronic shelf label projects but also to uh, enable and take advantage of some of the integrations that we have with for instance our order picking solution and, and the application of flashes in ESLs to, to increase the picking efficiency. The UK is also the, uh, I like to call it the capital of self-checkout. Still, uh, when I compare the uh, software that StrongPoint offers with its self-checkout solution, it's by far superior to what we're seeing uh, in, in the British uh, market with the traditional uh, players uh, there. And lastly, uh, with the rise of theft, and, and the UK has been particularly prone to, to theft of higher value items, we see a unique opportunity for the uh, application of Vansafe, uh, not necessarily for tobacco, that will come, there is some regulation change needed, but still for high value items. So in short, the market for, for the uh, solutions that Strongpoint offer in the UK is very much very much ripe. I want to touch upon Spain as well. Um, although we've been in Spain for many years, we have traditionally been having a balance between uh, both the uh, Horeca segments, so hotels and restaurants with our cash solution, and then in parts and growing so with, with grocery retailers. We have a fantastic team that we're building up now in, uh, in Spain. We're seeing both uh, the interest uh, in, uh, in, in e-commerce picking up, click and collect is uh, picking up, and the growing self-checkout market. But not least, and as, uh, as expressed in earlier uh, quarterly presentations, uh, we are working on a really groundbreaking new solution, uh, which we have called Cash Guard Connect with a tier one grocery retail player. Um, and I cannot unfortunately disclose more about uh, about the, the customer itself, but it's a groundbreaking world news uh, with regards to uh, creating a fully enclosed, a fully enclosed cash management solution between front office or the till and and back office, which will have a monumental impact on the profitability for grocery retailers by reducing the cash in transit, the costs of uh, shipping cash back and forth and improving the customer and uh, employee uh, experience when paying with, with cash, which still is about 30% uh, in, in the Spanish market. So we have two major markets that we are that we're uh, targeting uh, as we speak now. Then, uh, so how are we done? So if you go to the next slide, yes, StrongPoint has been growing quite nicely for the past few years. But as you will see, uh, we are, or our customers are not uh, completely immune to what's happening in society around us. So although we have uh, 
we have a customer base which is resilient. It's not completely immune to what's happening. And the uncertainty that, uh, that I think uh, most businesses have uh, experienced, and grocers included, the uncertainty has been leading to a investment pause of new uh, solutions. But I think what we can say without putting a number on it is that what is not uncertain is the fact that people will and consumers will continue to be buying food and uh, food and groceries in the store. And with that follows the need for more technology solutions to be driving productivity improvements in store. But that's been the case to date. So if you're trying to round it off by, um, by looking at the investment case uh, for strong points, so next page here shows the, the white space opportunity that, that strong point is, uh, is targeting now. On the one hand side, you have the, um, the geographies, the nine geographies that we, uh, that we operate uh, in. And as I said, in the traditional Nordic markets, we have a 100% penetration with grocery uh, retailers. Uh, put here at 90% uh, due, to, due to Finland, where we're not yet serving the major players there. Uh, whereas in Spain and the UK market, the penetration with grocery retailers is far from, from those numbers. So number one is the significant white space opportunities with the grocery retailers in Spain and in the Irish market, which you can tell are are, are, are uh, you know, massively bigger than any of the Nordic markets. Second is the penetration of our uh, solutions. Sure, even though we have 100% penetration in Norway, Sweden, and, and the Baltics with grocery retailers, there's still ample opportunities to get our solutions out in the market. There's still many, many stores in both Norway and Sweden without the strong point van safe solution. We have yet to see the strong point self checkout coming into the markets in Norway and Sweden, despite being the leading player in the Baltics. And when it comes to, to e commerce, uh, the Norwegian market clearly has been lagging to many other markets. And even though we have been in Sweden supporting our customers in getting uh, e commerce solutions out there and locker solutions out in the market, achieving a 50% pick up rate in store, there's still ample opportunities there as well. So I'm very positive about the, uh, about the opportunities in our traditional core markets. Of course, what makes me really excited and which should make US investors really excited is the vast space in Spain and the UK market for which uh, we both have a long way to go in serving the grocery retailers and, and not least getting our uh, call it Nordic solutions into those markets. So last page, uh, if we may go to the next summing up before uh, I believe Petra have some questions. Um, why do we believe that uh, StrongPoint is a long-term partner both for grocery retailers and investors? Well, first of all, we focus on grocery retail. So uh, whereas in today's environment, uh, retail uh, tends to be followed by uh, you know, sort of non-investable non kind of story or at least a difficult investable story, we're focusing on the resilient grocery uh, market. 80% of our revenue stems from the grocers. We see significant growth opportunities in the existing markets, surely in the more stable Nordic markets where we have a very good position and reputation with grocers, but not least in the major markets uh, that we have entered uh, more recently in, uh, in UK and in Spain. And then lastly, we believe that technology will be part of the solution for, for grocery retail businesses going forward. As I said, if you have uh, if you only started with electronic shelf labels, going back to paper tags, again, is not really an option. So we believe that more and more technology will be making its way into both stores and into e-commerce operations. And, and StrongPoint is there to support uh, the grocers with exactly that. Okay, Jakob, uh, thank you for that. Uh, a couple of questions. Uh, I mean, uh, you have definitely you know, seen 
a more challenging market lately, despite you know serving the, the non-cyclical grocery sector. Can you give some uh, short uh, comments on what has been the key challenges? Thank you. Sure. And no, you're right. I mean, um, even though we we uh, we are serving the uh, resilient grocery retailers, they're they're not completely immune. Um, to some extent, it feels like you know there is an uncertainty in the market, and the, uh, the natural reflex is then to sort of put uh, put investments on a, on a on a pause or push it out in uh, push it out in time more, more than anything else. I, I think it's important to recognize that uh, even though grocers themselves would be claiming to have a tough time because most of the revenue growth has been driven from price increases, there is you know, there's a, there's a there's an ocean between the world that grocery retailers live in, uh, having uh, enormous amounts of free cash flow versus sort of uh, other non-grocery retailers. So this is absolutely not a push out in time because you cannot afford it, so to speak, but rather a a uh, a reflex from which uncertainty is uh, is driven. So we see that most of the projects that we are or have been working on or RFPs have been sort of pushed out in time, not cancelled, but pushed out. Uh, in in time, but um, you know, as an anecdote, I was meeting with one of the uh, one of the um, our customers, C uh, level suite, and uh, whereas uh, uh, whereas the uh, there's lots of discussions and com I wouldn't say almost complaints about how the market is evolving. I mean, there's still uh, you know a couple of billion of uh, of uh, currency <laughs> uh, in free cash flow uh, with this uh, with this uh, grocery retailer. So they're very strong uh, still, luckily. Uh, and, and, you know, <clears throat> despite then that orders are more challenging to close, so to say, uh, can you also share some, some very short comments about the activity level, talking about, you know, the pipeline, the leads, uh, and then obviously you can exclude the, the, this groundbreaking contract with the cash management solutions. Yeah, I mean, we have, there's um, two things to be said on that. One is, uh, of course, we have no experience that the activity level as short on revenue has been going uh, uh, down. Um, and on the one hand side, we have had to uh, take uh, actions based on that. Um, so at the end of uh, Q3 presentation, we also announced a uh, cost reduction, uh, meaning uh, head reduction uh, across many of the countries we, we operate in. In total, we expect this to generate some 20 million Norwegian kroner per annum effect as of January 1. Uh, so of course that leads to uh, some uh, some restructuring cost in in this quarter, but it's it's absolutely needed. But on the other hand side, we have some major opportunities also beyond uh, this cash management uh, solution, Cash Connect that we talk about, where we're starting to see some of the major grocery retailers getting the eyes open for Strongpoint. Strongpoint might be uh, uh, sort of unknown to many. Uh, to many investors, uh, also here in the Nordic market. But we certainly have a long way to go to get the strong point, both portfolio out to our uh, customer base and not least uh, into the new countries. And that's uh, that's hard work. Uh, it's a marketing effort. It's being at trade shows. It's engaging in, in, uh, in customer meetings. And it's not least bringing some of these major Grocery retailers in uh, in both the UK and, and Spain into the great customer base and references that we have in uh, in our traditional stronghold markets. So I'd say the the, 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 the pipeline is is uh, is good um, with some major major retailers. But at the same time, it's it's uh, honestly I would you know it's anybody's guess on when is the sort of turn going to come? When are we going to start seeing uh, more improved macroeconomics? Is that Q1, Q3, Q4? Um, who knows? And we wouldn't bet on that, but that's why we also needed to take these uh, cost uh, efficiency measures. Okay, perfect, Jakob. Thank you so much for the presentation and good luck with the upcoming groundbreaking order and, and potentially new orders. Thank you so much. Thank you, Peter.